the news. The latest storm hit our ski resorts hard. Meteorologist Derek Green has a snowfall recap and tells us how important these early season storms are. We entered this season with serious cause for hope. El Nino in control over the Pacific. And so far, it has delivered. Yesterday's snowstorm hit the metro, and when it snows in Albuquerque, you know the mountains will get hit hard. 22 inches of snow fell on Ski Santa Fe. Same for Sipa Poo and Wolf Creek. Towski Valley picked up two feet. It was right around a foot for Pajarito, Angel Fire, Red River, and Durango, and Sandia Peak has nine fresh inches of powder. Southern New Mexico didn't get hit quite as hard with four inches at Ski Apache. George Brooks from Ski New Mexico says these early season storms are very important to local ski resorts. They help set the mood. It gets people psyched about skiing. Even though the snow itself helps tremendously, it gets people in the frame of mind. And when the ski areas have a lot of visitors, there is a great economic impact for the rest of the state. Those additional people spend a lot of money in the restaurants. They go to the, the gas stations. They have hotels, obviously, and lift tickets. Overall, the ski industry itself, they employ about 2,500 people. If El Nino keeps directing storms our way, New Mexico could really be cashing in on the best ski season in years. I'm meteorologist Eric Green, KOAT Action 7 News. With all that fresh snow, a few resorts are opening the slopes and others are getting close. Sipapu and Pajarito opened over the weekend. They say it is the earliest they have in recent memory. Wolf Creek in Colorado is 100% open. Taos, Red River, Ski Santa Fe, Ski Apache, and Purgatory announced they will be open in the next two weeks. Angel Fire will be December 11th, and Sandia Peak is working to open by the middle of December. And you